NBC News correspondent Priscilla Thompson watched tonight's debate with a group of voters in Des Moines, Iowa, where we are just, let us remind everyone, 40 days out from the first in the nation's caucuses. Priscilla, thanks so much for being here. So what are the voters saying? What are they telling you? Who won tonight in their perspective? Yeah. Yeah, Kristen, the countdown to the caucus is on, and we've got a room full of voters to ask that question to. So first, let me just ask, show of hands, did anyone, did this debate change anything for anybody? No. So I, people are pretty dug in with their candidates here, and I want to start first with Angela, because this is your first time watching the debate. You are a Trump supporter, and so I want to know, what did you think of what you saw tonight? I thought there were a lot of fireworks going on. It was interesting to watch the candidates interact, and Trump is still the winner. Trump is still the winner. Why? I like the policies. I like my retirement fund, build the border, drill baby drill. Uh, the America's future is very bright under Trump's leadership. And Angela found herself sitting next to JP, who is a Nikki Haley supporter. I noticed you all having some conversation during the debate. What did you think of Nikki Haley's performance tonight? I think Nikki is phenomenal. Um, for a lot of reasons. I love her, in, her uh, international experience. I love her state governorship and the way she just holds herself. I am not, I, I supported Trump in the beginning. I did not vote for him the, the second time because I know Trump since way prior to the presidency, 2004. And I did not like how he wasn't able to transition. Nikki is a right person on the international stage. And when she had her position at, at the UN, she was uh, highly respected. And I just think she's the right person during this time with what's going on in the world to lead both on a international and a local level. And I want to move through the room a little bit this way, Kristen, because I talked to this corner of folks who are also Nikki Haley supporters. And you told me that you think Trump's lead in the polls is not accurate, that Nikki Haley could potentially chip away at some of that. Tell me about that. I have talked to a lot of former Trump supporters that, like the gentleman just said, I, it just seems like that the, his lead is too big to be real. It just seems like an artificial lead. And all of you have told me you're supporting Nikki Haley. So tell me a little bit about why. Why for you all? Why is she your candidate? I liked her probably since the beginning, but it's just grown stronger over the last few months. I've gone and listened to her speak um, at about four different events. I like her experience as governor and what that leads her lens to the presidency so that she can get our economy under control. So her economic experience and then being the UN ambassador, I think she's great in experience for you know national relations. And I just I love her passion for her country, for her family, and I just think she would be a fantastic leader. That's yeah. what we need. And I want to get you in real quick. What did you think of her debate performance? This wasn't the best of the four. I think they attacked her because I think they understand that she is the leader. Mm -hmm. I think as far as those four go, I think she's the one that has the potential to win the popular vote and bring the House and the Congress to the Republican Party. The others might not. Yeah, well, thank you. And Kristen, I will leave it there. This is what the voters in Iowa are saying tonight. Kristen? Priscilla, it's such a fascinating conversation. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.